Enterprise Provisioner is a Windows application developed by Honeywell with the purpose of configuring the Honeywell devices fast and easy by altering the default XML configurations or with the help of provisioning tasks. The application can be found on the Honeywell FTP website at hsmftp.honeywell.com. Under Software Greater Than Software and Tools Greater Than Device Management Greater Than Enterprise Provisioner. This is where the installer can be found, and, under provisioning bundles, it's where the provisioning bundles can be found, a provisioning bundle is a set of XML file pertaining to all the configurable sections of a device. The application comes with some of the most used provisioning bundles and older versions of the bundles or bundles pertaining to other operating systems and devices can be found in the provisioning bundles section. Enterprise Provisioner also has a built-in server, which allows us to copy files from the PC where Enterprise Provisioner runs to devices on the same network through provisioning tasks. The application has a settings section, a provisioning section, the barcodes section where the generated configuration barcodes appear, and it also has a help section containing the user's guide of the application. Each proprietary configuration section of the device has its own tab and in the upper drop-down one can choose the suitable bundle for the device to be configured, including bundles for Basic Tay, Enterprise Browser, Honeywell Launcher, the SS Client and Wizards for device enrollment into MDM systems like Sodi or Intune. The application is easy to use by simply clicking on the necessary setting and then generating a configuration barcode containing it. It's important to keep in mind that before scanning any enterprise provisioner configuration barcode it's mandatory to manually enable the provisioning mode on the device by going to settings greater than Honeywell settings greater than provisioning mode. Depending on the quantity of settings to alter, enterprise provisioner can generate more than one barcode, and in order to have a full configuration it's mandatory to scan all generated barcodes. Thank you for watching.